There is so much stress around us, especially during the past two years because of the pandemic. So how can we really know if our minds are healthy? Yeah. Dr. Laura Saunders from the Institute of Living is here to tell us about the pillars. The pillars. Welcome, Dr. Laura. Happy Wednesday. Hello, friends. I know. Hi. I'm going to my shrink after the show today, and he's going to say <laughs> one thing. Did you practice your mindfulness? And I'm going to say no. And he's going to say, why didn't you do that? And I'm going to say, because I'm an idiot. So mindfulness is where <laughs> it's all, it's what it's all about, isn't it? Yes. So let's, it is. And, and we're going to talk about how simple it can be. But let's start with how the four pillars of a healthy mind, right? I saw this, pot, this uh, TED Talk recently. This guy was great. He's a psychologist and neuroscientist. Um, Richard Anderson, and the four pillars for a healthy mind are attention, connection, insight, and purpose, right? We all, we need to feel connected. We need to have meaningful connections. We need to have a purpose in life. And sometimes even if you're doing the laundry, the purpose is I'm doing laundry, I'm completing tasks, right? It doesn't always have to be part of a greater purpose, um, but that your purpose is connected to things. So it's coming back to some basic things as a way to feel uh, more connected. And, and so it, if attention is one of the, the four pillars of a healthy mind, there are ways that we can improve our ability to attend. And that's mindfulness because people get afraid of that word. Mindfulness, meditation, like Scott's like, oh, it's on my to-do list. It really can be something we integrate, right? So tell us how simple it can be. Yeah, so, right. You're right, Kara. Pe when people hear like mindfulness or meditation, they think, oh my goodness, I have to sit for hours a day in silence. That's not what it is. I mean, it could be if you're like the Dalai Lama, but that's, it's not that way for the rest of us. The rest of us that have, you know, kids and hold jobs and do other things. So what we need to do in, in simple mindfulness practice is start with three minutes a day. That's it. And it doesn't have to even, you know, it can be while you're folding the laundry. It can be while you're out in the walk or walking from your, the parking lot into your, into your place of work. It can be, you know, with your kids, if you want to have them do the three minutes. Um, and I start with a simple mantra. I'm going to tell you the mantra that I use um, because I like this. Um, and it has four simple phrases. That's all you have to do. I am at peace. I am safe. I am loved. And I feel secure. So some combination of those and you just repeat them and you breathe. Hmm. Three minutes. That's it. Just keep repeating them. Well, and uh, affirmations are a big part of learning meditation. But if you're doing it just for a couple of minutes, explain to people why does an affirmation matter? Because people say, well, I don't feel peaceful. So why am I saying I'm peaceful? It actually helps us shift. Yeah, because you're, it's what you it's it's you're putting out intentions, right? So we live in a frenetic world. We're in a global pandemic. You may not always feel at peace but you're bringing in intentions. It's not unlike prayer is for some people, right? When people pray, that's, you know, whatever their, their routines are in prayer, they, they create intentions. And that's what this is. So it's not always that I'm not always loved. I'm not always at peace, right? But I'm bringing in intentions. And so by repeating this and, and people need to know that it's called, generally called mindfulness practice. So it's not like we all do this well. Uh, you know, we all drift off. I drift off when I do it too. I drift off all of a sudden. I got my grocery list in my head. So, but you, you f catch yourself drifting off and you come back to it. I am at peace. I am loved. I am secure. I am okay. Right. And, and again, the, the phrases might change a little. It's okay. Yeah. Mine is I am good looking. And I just repeat that over four times. <laughs> Well, that makes sense. I would understand that. <laughs> yeah, it's all about the intention. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here's my question, because you're a child psychologist. I love this stuff. I feel like these practices have helped me a lot in my own life, and, and that led me to develop probably a little bit more formal meditation practice, which isn't much, maybe five, ten minutes in the morning. But when I mention this to my kids, I get the eye roll. I get the this. How do we uh, – we only have 30 seconds left. What do you say to your teens and your kids? Have some quiet time, have some downtime, think some positive thoughts, have a positive dream about the future, you know, just learn to, to build your attention 
um, and do it in ways that's a little, you know, they're not going to sit and, you know, with their legs folded and their arms up in the air and have a mantra, but have some downtime, some quiet time. Think positive thoughts for three minutes. All right. Sounds Love good. It. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it. Take care. All right. I'll see you in three. We're going to start doing, we can start Four. doing some mindfulness during the commercial break. So All right. Two minutes. Very good. There you go. All right, still ahead. Before we do that, a new weapon in your kitchen arsenal. We're showing you how to make a delicious meal, some chicken milanese for the family. And then we're going to be showing you a kitchen, a kitchen fail. That's Is that a what bad it says? intention. That's a bad intention. It's recipe no, of the week. We are successful. This one's going to get messy. Great day. <laughs> of, be right back. Stay with us. <laughs>